Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about storage account file share service. In this topic we will understand the concept and we will also see how to implement it. If you want to go through the complete course, you can purchase these courses from my website that is techlearning.spy.com. All the information is given in the description. If you want to check out the course content, just click on course and click on preview. So left hand side you can see all of the course contents. Other than individual courses, course packages are also available where you can find out the decent discount on these courses. Let's get back to our topic. So today we are going to discuss about the file share. Okay. So what is file share first of all? File share when you are working in office on your day to day life, you might have gone through this file share multiple times. So what is file share? So in case of file share, there is a file share server. Okay, let's say this is a file share server. Let's uh, suppose you have a department and you are part of HR department and you want to share a file with each other. There is a roster uh, which is shared by everyone. Everybody does some uh, entry in that. Okay, so instead of sending that file individually to everyone, okay, it can be one file or it can be set of multiple files. So sending it or sharing it on the manual basis may be a, a quite a difficult task. So what we do in that case generally on the file share server, we create one folder. Let's say this folder is for HR. Okay. And in this folder, you can put all of the files which is shared by the HR department. Let's say there are multiple team members. One, two, three, four. Okay. Instead of sending these files manually to them, we keep these file in our file share. We have created a folder inside this folder. We will keep that files. So now what they are going to do, they will access this file from this particular folder. We call it as a departmental folder also, because for each department, you might have seen that uh, this different, different folders has been created. Let's say this is HR, then there is IT engineering. So accordingly, as whatever is your internal office architecture, based on that, a folder has been created for their department and all the departmental files are actually stored on it. So if these people are having access on this particular folder, they can access it. So what is the way to access it? Let's say the IP address of this particular server is 192.168.1.2 or 3. So if this person want to access this uh, file share, okay, this folder, so he goes to the run and type 192.168.1.3 slash HR. So once they type in this way, they can access the content of this particular folder. Also, they can map it as a drive on their laptop also. So this is the concept of the file share. Very simple concept. Now, in this concept, if you see that if we go with the traditional approach, we need a dedicated server. Okay. We need a dedicated server here that is known as the file share. Okay. So in this server, we need an operating system. After deploying the operating system, we should have enough uh, space also on it. It means enough hard disk should be there so that we can store our data accordingly. So once everything is set up, you will create the folder. Then you are finally going to store your data in it. Then you will share it with the end customer based on the requirement. Correct. So now storage account provide you the facility that from storage account itself, you can create this file share without this file share server. So no need of this server here. So what is going to uh, means how it is going to help you. First of all, it is going to help you by reducing the cost of the server and the setup which was required for the server has been eliminated here. Okay. So for this practical, I need one storage account and a virtual machine. Let me go ahead and quickly create this one. So yesterday I had explained you how to create a storage account. So come here. So already I, I have this one storage LH. So let me delete this one. Let me create from scratch. So you will have a better understanding.
so lhs storage demo region central us performance standard account kind storage version 2 replication i am going to select lrs here you can choose anything go ahead and create this storage account okay so i need one virtual machine also for this practical so go ahead and create one virtual machine as well let's say this is vm1 central us So today you can notice that uh, this complete uh, format has been changed. Okay, the alignment of options has been changed. Even if you go to the basic as well, everything has been changed here. Earlier it was in the row, now it is showing like this. So these changes very often you will see that. Don't get surprised, things will remain same. They just do the alignment changes. So very common with Azure. <clears throat> Okay, so my storage account has been created. So go to storage account and my storage account is LH storage demo. So click on it, go to overview. Yesterday we had discussed about this container service or the blob service. Today we are going to discuss about the file share. So file share is a serverless SMB and NFS file share. So serverless, why? Because the server has been eliminated. Okay, so there is no need of server. So that is the reason this file share service is known as ser serverless and it used the SMB protocol here on the backend. Okay, so click on this file share first of all. Okay, so here you have an option to create a file share. So click on it and provide a name to this file share. Let's say the name for this file share is demo. Now it is asking me the quota, how much space you want to align with this particular file share okay so the maximum limit what you can put that is around 1.20 gb here okay but right now for this practical i am going to give uh, 5 gb and uh, these are the tiers okay we'll discuss it later then go ahead and click on create So here you can see that file share has been created. So you can create multiple file shares here. That is up to you. Right now I am only creating one file share and with this file share, I'm going to do my practical. So open this file share demo. Okay. If you want to upload some data inside this file share, so go ahead and click on upload and uh, select from your laptop. So let's say these four files I'm going to upload here. So go ahead and click on open and upload. Okay, very simple process. Through this, you have uploaded your data in your file share. This is one thing. Second thing is that inside this file share, if you want to create any directory, so just click on add directory and let's say the directory name is dir. Directory means folder go ahead and click on ok and your folder will visible here inside this folder also you can keep your uh, data okay so let's go back okay so in this file share suppose you want to take the backup of this file share okay so backup is very important let's say if someone deleted some data and uh, let's say this this is related to any department or the hr department by mistake if somebody deleted any data or file from here then generally uh, it teams get these requests on the daily basis very often that uh, data has been deleted please recover it okay so you will get very often such kind of tickets so backup is very important in that case from you if you have the backup then only you can restore your data here right 
So there are two ways here. One is called a snapshot. Second is backup. So a snapshot I'm going to tell you now, but to understand the backup, you should have the knowledge of the recovery service vault and recovery service vault is a dedicated topic. When we are covering up that recovery service vault, that time I will come back again and we will discuss about the second option backup. But right now, let's see how to take the backup via the snapshot. What is the snapshot picture of the moment you are taking a snap of this storage here. So go ahead and let's say create this snapshot. Okay, so click on add a snapshot and give a name. Suppose the name is a snap one and click on okay. So a snapshot has been taken here. If you open this snap, you can see inside that snap, all of the files are there. Okay, it has taken the snapshot, all of the files and this folder also. And uh, for example, if somebody uh, deleted any file, let's say this file got deleted by someone, this file is deleted and uh, this file is also deleted. Okay, now if you want to recover it and you want to recover it from your snapshot, so click on a snapshot. So there is only one snapshot as of now. You can take multiple snapshot. So it is a picture of the moment. So if you are taking snapshot on the different time, so different uh, amount of data will be there. Right now I have only one. So just to go ahead and open this one and which files you want to recover, these two files you want to recover, right? Which I have deleted. So click on it and then click on restore and uh, overwrite original file and go ahead and restore this one. Now come to the second file, click on restore, overwrite original because there is nothing in original, I have deleted them. So it is not going to make any harm. If you want to restore as a separate copy and have a different name, that option also has been given here. So just go ahead and click on okay. Fine. And if you go to your demo file share now, go to overview, you can see all of these two files has been recovered. Okay. So this is how we use this snapshot here. Okay. So <clears throat> uh, if you want to modify this quota, so click on edit quota, we had taken five. And now if you want to increase the quota, you can do it from here. Instead of five, if you need 10, just modify and click on okay. Your quota will increase. Similarly, if you want to change the tier, what are the tier? We discussed about hot tier, cool tier. So if you want to change the tier also, you can do it from here. If you want to delete this share, you can just go ahead and delete this share from here. So these are some of the simple options. <clears throat> so this is how actually it works. Fine. Now, what is the real use case of this file share? That's what we are going to discuss. Let me see if my virtual machine is ready or not. So also I'm going to duplicate this tab. So go back to your virtual machine. Let's connect to this one. So this is my virtual machine. Now, let's say from this virtual machine, I want to connect my file share. Okay. Um, what we need to do, go back to your file share here and close all this thing. There is a button here called connect. When you click on this connect button, so you can see that different operating system has been listed here, Windows, Linux, and Mac. So it means that if you have a Windows operating system, Okay, if anybody who is having the Windows operating system and want to connect via this particular file share, so this is the script which is given here. Correct. So this is the script through this script, it can be uh, uh, connect to this particular file share. And if you have the Linux operating system, you can run this script and you'll be connected to this file share. If you have the Mac operating system, you can use this particular script here. 
So I have created a Windows virtual machine. So go to Windows and uh, also you can see one drive letter Z. So this file share will be mounted with Z drive. Okay. Let's see that. Then you will have the understanding. Let me copy this script first and uh, open it and paste it here. Let's understand what is there inside this script. In this script, uh, first of all, there is a file share path. So this is the path here. Okay. If you copy this path and go to your virtual machine <clears throat> and go to here, right click and go to run and paste this path here, double slash and then this path slash demo. Click on OK. So it is asking for a username and password. If you can see that, scroll it down. It is asking for username and the password. So which username and password I can mention? So here the user ID, user colon. So this user ID is there. Okay. Also the password is also mentioned. This is the password and this is your long password. If you want to manually just go and uh, do this, that is also fine. You can just copy this username and the password and you can paste it here where it is asking for your username and the password. This is one way. Second way is that you don't want to get into all this thing. Just go ahead and copy this script and go to your virtual machine. Close this one and open your PowerShell here. So PowerShell will be always available with all the Windows operating system. Right click and run as administrator and paste this uh, script. <clears throat> okay, once you paste, do not hit enter immediately. Wait for some time because it fetch all of these command. Once everything is there, hit enter and you can see that credential added successfully. So what is added? So your 5GB space has been mounted. Okay. And this is the path of that uh, file share. And this is mounted with Z drive. So if you minimize this one, you will see, open your Windows Explorer, go to this PC, and you will see that this demo file share has been mounted here. If you open that, you can see all of the files and folders are listed here, what we had uploaded. Suppose I create a file on my system itself. Let's say this is a test file. And just, I have created on local desktop. From local desktop, drag and drop it into the file share. That is demo. Okay. Now come to this portal. This is your demo file share. And try to refresh this one you can see your file is listing here, tested.txt. Even if you go ahead and upload something, let's upload something from your uh, version file I'm going to upload. Click OK, upload. You come, you can see your version is reflecting here as well. Okay, so this is how this file share works. It's a very simple configuration. Now you can see that how cloud computing has simplified the complete process. Not only it is simplifying the process of setup, but also it has reduced the cost <coughs> of the overall setup because there is no need of dedicated server, no need of the dedicated operating system license, and no need of any maintenance from any IT engineer. Okay, so everything is taken care by the Azure here. We are just supposed to create this file share and upload the data and take the backup. Whenever somebody says that data has been deleted, just recover that data and put it here. Okay. So this is how this uh, concept of the file share work here.